Hi, I'm Faye. I have a treat for you. You'll love this wonderful picture book, Holding On, by Sophia N. Lee and Isabel Rojas, both talented Filipino-American creators. It made my heart sing. Waray, apoy or lola. Again, apoy or lola. Tagalog, lola. Say it again, lola. English, grandmother. One more time, grandmother. Holding on, written by Sophia N. Lee and illustrated by Isabel Rojas. Look, this book was signed by Sophia and Isabel. It was so exciting to meet them. There's always singing in Lola's house. My summers there are filled with so much music. Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. in the morning, Ella Fitzgerald and Dean Martin in the afternoon. And in the evening, all the Tagalog love songs I can think of. We listen to Nora Honor and Basil Valdez sing with so much feeling. They were Lola's favorites, Lola tells me. Lola sings and hums and belts along, fingers dancing, hips swaying. If you want to hold on, you got to sing your songs, she tells me. What do you hold on to, Lola? I ask. You, my little darling, she whispers, sweeping me up into a hug. In the winters when I'm away from Lola and I'm missing her hugs the most, I think of the ways she holds on. She holds on to my baby bottle even though I've grown too big for it. <laughs> she holds on to my favorite princess pajamas, now too small, by sewing the fabric into a beautiful quilt for colder nights. She holds on to my favorite childhood dish by making me rice with adobo and mashing ripe bananas to make each bite just a little bit sweeter. She holds on to the old pictures I drew and hangs them on her walls next to her favorite pictures of Lolo and of our family. In my summers with her, I learn how to hold on too. I hold the pot still when she stirs the sinigang and drops the vegetables plop, plop into the broth. I hold my breath when we listen every night for Lola's lotto numbers to be drawn. We close our eyes and imagine all the things we would do if we won. I hold her belly when we dance and sing along to Lola's favorite songs. Hold her hand even tighter when her voice breaks because she's remembering him. It's important to remember, Lola tells me. So I listen to her stories and remember with her. We remember the story of when she and Lolo met, how he asked her to dance on the street because he could hear a love song in the distance. And the dress she wore on the day they got married and how smart Lolo looked in his barong Tagalog. We remember how the wedding music made them feel like they were dancing on clouds. We remember the day I was born, how my loud cries pleased Lola because it meant I had good, strong lungs. Wow! And we remember how Lola and Mama would sing me to sleep on nights when I woke up fuzzy. I learned how to sing because of Lola. I learned Lola's favorite songs and then my own. And her house would be filled with the sound of our memories. There are days 
when Lola doesn't remember. When Lola is quiet and still. So I start to sing. Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. in the morning. Ella Fitzgerald and Dean Martin in the afternoon. And all throughout the evening, Lola's favorite Tagalog love songs. It is my way of being with Lola, of letting her know that it's okay if she doesn't remember sometimes. I'll remember for her. I'll hold on to all that she has taught me and carry it with me in my heart and in our songs. Lola hears the music and smiles. She stands up and begins to sway. Fingers dancing, hips grooving. If you want to hold on, you gotta sing your songs, I say. We sing and hum and belt along. My summers are always filled with song. The end. Isn't that lovely? Does it remind you of a Lola or Lolo? Our Lolas and Lolos love to sing and dance too. Share this story with others who want to hold on to their grannies. Thanks for watching. Tahala!